Hello YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Ranger Series Gold and Series Silver figures from Power Rangers RPM. These have been very long awaited. They're supposed to come out with a spring line, but they've been pushed back to the fall assortment. So as always, let's go over the packaging since I have two here. Um, so Ranger Gold, nice packaging just like the original RPM figures. It's in the middle, surrounded by all of his accessories. Um, sticker in the back, and then a picture of the core three Rangers here. It says Ranger Gold right there, like it should instead of like Chicken Ranger or something. And then nice logo up here, all oh, very nice. And on the back, it shows the new assortment, which has gold and silver, and then the three skateboard figures, and then the gimmicks. And then let's do silvers quick. Um, basic same packaging here, just a different Ranger in the middle, different accessories, all the same, just says Ranger Silver. Very nice packaging, fits in well with the others. Okay, so let's go over the figures first. Um, let's do gold first. It's Ranger Gold, he looks pretty nice. Um, another good job on the figure. The paint job is pretty decent. I mean, he looks all around good painted. There's a few minor missing details around here and the belt. You can't see the symbol as well and the back isn't painted as well. Um, but overall, pretty a pretty nice paint job and the helmet looks good and everything. And it's a nice sculpt. So articulation wise, his arms can go around 360 and move up and down. He can swivel right here and his elbow has a one elbow joint. His hand can't swivel. I mean like this wrist. His head can go 360. It can't move up and down or anything. It's kind of fixed in a little bit of a looking down pose. Um, Alright, so his legs can move around, rotate around really good. Um, one knee joint, foot can rotate a little bit. No waist articulation. So basically standard Power Rangers articulation. Not bad. Overall, he's a really great little figure. Um, I really like him. Fits in well with the others. He was definitely worth the wait. A um, few minor gripes. Um, probably the articulation. But I guess it just become spoiled because of fig arts. But um, I wish he could move his head up and down if it wasn't fixed down a little bit. And then maybe just some of the paint. Mainly for me, um, the belt just for some reason off-putting. It just looks, you can see the symbol, but it's just not quite painted right. So, but that's about it. Um, and there's one more thing that I can't think of. Oh, the paint has a little bit of color discrepancy. It looks like there's a little bit different colors going on in some places. But you can't tell them unless you're really paying attention. So, alright, so as for his, uh, oh, dang, he won't stand. Come on, stand. Alright, as for accessories, it comes with his main weapons, which are the rocket booster and the wing trigger, which can fit in his hands, and then this can also go on the side of his belt, only on this side is a little peg here. And then to put them together, there is a little hole here and a peg here to put them together to make the blaster. So that's pretty nice. Um, the one problem is, is um, Ranger Gold can fit this in his hand well, but this can't fit in his hand very well. Let me show you. See, it's kind of it's kind of loose, so you kind of have to just get him in a pose and leave him there, or just put the blaster or just the morpher in his hand. So that's one complaint about that. And then he comes with a little villain miniature of a uh, Kelgashia that you can have, which is okay feature. And then he comes with his engine casts. But they're not painted like the other ones. He has Tripter and Jumbo Whale, but they're not painted. Um, his copter can spin, and the sculpt isn't too bad on him. Jumbo Whale is actually really good, the sculpt. Let's see if the camera can zoom better on it. A little bit, but they both have really nice sculpts. But they're not painted. And you know what's really crappy about that? Is that they show on the back that they're painted. So, I don't know what the hell's going on. And then they painted the Dino Rangers one, so why not just paint these? But that's another complaint I have. And then obviously it comes with a sticker. This is Ranger Gold that you can put in the sticker book. Alright, so now let's go over Ranger Silver. Um, she looks really nice. Um, a little bit skinnier, kind of like a Ranger Yellow. But she, overall she looks really nice. Good details. Nice paint job everywhere. Just a few minor missing details on the hands, the belt, and then the back of the belt. So just a few minor details missing. But overall still really good. Great little figure. Alright, so articulation wise, arms will ro rotate around, bending, swivel, just like the other one. Head rotates, and hers can move up and down a little bit. And her legs, they would have decent articulation to move around, but the skirt is so tough that you can't move it around at all. I mean, it's tougher than, just like Ranger Yellow, it's tougher than the Jungle Fury Yellow Rangers one. So, I guess if you wanted to, I, I bought an extra Jungle Fury Yellow last year, or, yeah, last year, and I cut little slits here to make her at least a little bit better poses, so I guess you could do that. But it's kind of constricting. But on a positive note, they did fix the heel problem that Ranger Yellow had. Which she had, she doesn't have as long of heels and it's not uneven. So she can stand normal without getting her in a weird pose. So overall, she's a great figure. It's good to see. 
the female rangers getting good uh, justice in the figures. But she's kind of rare. She's only like one per case. I was lucky enough to find the two of her I needed. Um, but sometimes the females can be harder to find since they don't make as many. All right, and just like gold comes with a wing trigger and rocket booster, and they can combine as well. Same thing. Um, then she comes with her little villain figure of Yogo Stein, and then another engine case, engine soul case, or engine cast case. I can't remember the name of it right now. I don't know why. And then she comes with her little engine cast of Jetros. Um, this can actually work because um, it's basically the same color as the cast would be, so that actually works pretty well. The other ones really can't, so. Um, so that's no big deal. The, the, um, the mold's pretty good on it, so this one I don't have a bigger complaint about. If they could have at least painted Triptor and Jumbo Whale, I would have been happy. And then its gimmick is, which is the same with the other figures, um, is you take the villain, and then you take the engine cast guy, and then you shoot him at him, and then it doesn't work. Yeah, there you go. So that's the gimmick. I guess for this figures. I'm glad they did it instead of an annoying sound thing that goes off in the middle of the night. But overall these are really great figures. It's good to finally have some Power Rangers merchandise on the shelf to get and some stuff to review. Um, they're really great. I highly recommend them if you're an RPM fan or if you're a fan of the Go On Wings from Go Onger. They're really great figures. Um, they're starting to hit shelves now at Targets and Walmarts. I don't know about Toys R Us yet but they're definitely starting to hit shelves. And um, also hitting shelves is the Dino Ranger figures and um, Titanium Chaser. I haven't found those yet, but I will. And then they hit shelves with this chaser, which I'll be doing a review of soon. So, overall, these figures are great. I give them a 10 out of 10. I recommend them for any Power Rangers fan. I'm sorry that the videos have been um, few and far between, but I'm trying my best to get them um, coming sooner. And as you can see, I'm using my new camera again. Um, there's not going to be an intro on it, probably, unless I get another program. But at least for this review and my next review, which I believe will be D-end, um, we'll have this new camera. And then I'll be reviewing the chaser and... Who knows, maybe by the time I get to the Samurai, I'll have Titanium. So, um, and also, one quick thing is my subscriber message is coming. I know I promised in my last three videos, but things just kind of got busy around here. But I promise it's coming, and there will be updates on why it's been so long between videos and just other general things. So, thank you for watching, and thank you to all my subscribers. So, um, please rate and subscribe. This is Dawson Rider, signing out.